was Cornell. So, how do we do that? Is uh, uh, on the Facebook and the Twitter, the main channels. We, we post a uh, place that we, uh, as a we, it's really uh, uh, just a one, one person shows that, as, as I mentioned. I look at uh, uh, an authentic uh, uh, stories. Authentic stories and uh, inspiring experiences, those are the really important kind of criteria that we look at uh, uh, before we post anything. And uh, on average day, uh, you might end up with only three or four different posts that, uh, uh, that will touch with both reflective and reflexive uh, 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 audiences, meaning those that you just see a visual and comment on it versus uh, a post uh, that we read one maybe story that somebody would then read that would be uh, uh, more uh, a reflective type of engagement. So main channels, Facebook and, and Twitter. Uh, uh, Facebook is uh, one that we use to build a community. Uh, Twitter we use to primarily get messages out. Uh, an average age uh, uh, for a Twitter user uh, or Twitter follower to run out is about 40 years old, 43 years old. An average age of Facebook is about 24. The demographic is about 51% uh, female, uh, 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 49% uh, male. So that's a kind of really, really broad. I have all kind of data information that if you'd like, I would be more than happy to, to share with you. So then uh, beyond uh, Facebook and Twitter, we have uh, uh, channels such as Google Plus, LinkedIn. Uh, those two channels uh, we uh, just start starting to really use for specific purposes. Like for instance, Google Plus, we use a Google Hangouts. It's an, a really interesting uh, a way to connect with the media outlets uh, to uh, uh, set up a really quick uh, conferencing, um, which work well for us, because part of our function is not only tell the Cornell story, but really connect with uh, other uh, message amplifiers out there, everybody from uh, PBS to you name it. So uh, the second tier, so it's a Google Plus and, and LinkedIn, we don't have a large community there, but we use as a specific tool. Uh, tools, as I said, uh, LinkedIn, uh, I think has a, a enormous potential, particularly to connect, connecting uh, uh, students and successful alums to really figure out how to tell the story of uh, uh, or the, the career path for a student, how your life will look like in, 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 in the future uh, by looking at some of the um, successful stories that uh, alumni might uh, tell us. Uh, then we have uh, uh, a Pinterest and, uh, uh, and Foursquare. Uh, those tools uh, also uh, at the infancy, uh, they're pretty early stages. Uh, Pinterest we use primarily to connect with the news media outlets. It's a, uh, uh, an interesting way for us to supply high resolution images, for instance, to Huffington Post or Associated Press. So we use those channels uh, perhaps not in a conventional ways that they were originally intended. Uh, and uh, I understand that we'll have a Q&A session and I'd be more than happy to drill to any one of those uh, tools in more depth and maybe talk about two specific scenarios uh, and, or, or questions that you might have. Uh, Foursquare uh, is, is one tool that I'm really excited about and particularly how it connects to uh, your, your uh, subject, sustainability. Uh, I think it's important as we, um, as we try to communicate to the world out there what are we doing at, at, at Cornell in terms of sustainability. I think it's important to understand how well uh, a campus uh, digital cloud will look like in a year from now, or two years from now, or five years from now. And uh, tools such as Foursquare presents an interesting opportunity. Uh, augmented reality, uh, for example. Uh, each building at Cornell, we uh, cover about 400 buildings, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have a data uh, facilities have a data that describe everything that the building is using in terms of utility. There's electricity, there's water, there's all kind of uh, uh, information that I think you can, uh, as message ambassadors, turn into a positive storytelling. And a few years from now, a tools uh, uh, such as Foursquare and Event Reality will uh, enable us to be able to have a snapshot uh, on, around any building and be able to see what's really happening 
at that building in terms of its energy draw and so forth. So uh, there are all kinds of trajectories there. So I'm trying to run really fast. So I'll go to my uh, cheat uh, list. Oh, uh, so I talked about three tiers of social <coughs> network. Uh, I, in addition to those six mentioned, uh, we are actively looking at any other um, new media platform where we find Cornell related audience that may in include a Weibo in China or Renren or uh, a Yelp, uh, you know, or Instagram or uh, Tumblr, uh, some of the basic tools that we have not been able to take advantage of, but we actively looking at those platforms. First, communications. What can we do for you, and why? Uh, why it's important for, for you to understand the, the landscape is that uh, it's really difficult to build. Uh, engaged audience on a new topic. Uh, on average, it takes about two and a half thousand people on a Facebook page to have any kind of a meaningful exchange unless you're really specific to a specific uh, topic, such as particular type of bird uh, followers of fan club. So <laughs> you, you need to think about on a broad topic such as sustainability, you need to have about you know, two and a half thousand people to have sort of engaged community. And you have to evaluate uh, uh, sort of ahead of time and see do you have uh, uh, the audience to support that type of community. So Facebook is a great place to grow that audience, but what we can do from university communications, we can help you grow that audience. We can amplify your stories. So if you have something interesting on, on a Facebook, let's say a gallery, a visual gallery uh, that would uh, connect to a, a broad core audience, we can reshare it for you. Same goes for uh, a Twitter, for instance. We can find uh, a ways to amplify a story, not only to the Cornell audience, but broader to the world audience. And that's uh, an ability uh, that we have at University Communications, because we have a number of uh, new outlets following Cornell. So it's easier for us to connect uh, uh, through easy direct message to uh, new outlets or other organizations around the world. Same thing with Google Plus, for instance. We have a connection to uh, 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 Science Sunday. It's a Google Incorporated program which looks at uh, exciting things around the world and then they amplify it farther to new, new set, uh, outlets. Uh, so, some specific things. Uh, so, as uh, all, all you will become a communicators and amplifiers of this uh, great work that you do for now. It's important for you to uh, agree on uh, how some of the um, a basic principle on, on, on the Twitter, what hashtag, for instance, you are pushing. Uh, uh, talk to us, we'll be happy to, to work with you on that and, and figure it out how uh, to either uh, push a specific topic in your sustainability efforts or a general uh, hashtag. You know, we can talk about the uh, strategies more deeply in a Q&A session. Uh, so, but that's something to keep in mind. Uh, uh, looking at uh, some of the opportunities, I think there are uh, plenty, uh, for instance, corporate extensions. Uh, I'm not sure how it connects to your program, but uh, uh, there's a lot of stories that we can tell, not just within Cornell, but New York State and, and the world. A footprint where we uh, um, we have a footprint uh, where uh, we have changed lives, uh, people's lives around the world, and sustainability falls right in that uh, category. Uh, Creative use of uh, infographics, I, I, um, I mentioned this uh, before, there are tools that, that uh, uh, can help you build uh, a quick infographic. You don't have to be a designer, but uh, if you uh, use it easily, for instance, with a data set of 10 to uh, 12 uh, different numbers, you'll be able to uh, create an infographic. It's not that uh, complicated. So uh, when we finish here today, we should go and, and try it. Uh, it's an interesting and effective way to to tell a story, particularly when you talk about sustainability, where you're moving from one place to another, and there's all kind of numbers uh, involved in the storytelling. Vitaly, what's your favorite tool for building infographics? Uh, well, I do like in Photoshop or, or the um, fire, fireworks, but easily, easel.ly is, I think it's the, probably the most straightforward tool. That's when you showed me it has themes, and mm -hmm. you just sort of pull and drop, and. Yep. Push the button. Yeah. Uh, so those are sort of uh, uh, techniques. Some of the things you might think about um, 
let's say telling a story, a sustainable story in, the, in one day in the life of Cornell. Uh, can you imagine uh, taking the snapshots uh, around, uh, around the university all in one day and pointing out to one central theme, the sustainability? Something like that, I, I, I think, will go a long way. It will be uh, of interest to a broad audience. Uh, you can accomplish this by either giving cameras away or have a you know, message from ambassadors in different places looking for those uh, uh, sustainability type examples. Creating a uh, repository of uh, sustainability uh, examples, I think, is another good uh, uh, way uh, to engage community, to challenge community to submit uh, uh, they they, uh, they they story uh, they stories creating a contest and uh, on a Q and A or on your uh, new website we can amplify we can help drive audience to help you in, in, engage them further. Uh, what else? Uh, as as uh, uh, sustainability pioneers, you have an opportunity to really change the behavior. It's pretty cool that. Uh, that uh, you're actually changing the behavior uh, of people and uh, you're educating uh, everybody around that there is a new and more exciting, effective, and efficient ways to, to live. And I think it's really cool. Uh, I often talk to my kids and they, they tell me how much they, uh, how much they think about throwing stuff around, wasting, that, that mentality is very different, it's radically different from the mentality that I uh, grew up in you know, 15, 20 years ago. So you have the opportunity to tell people about applications such as Nest, which is allows you to uh, control the temperature environment at home to thermostat and these, you know, an array of others. And I think I talked over 10 minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs>